so hello everyone welcome to this uh, last session of our mathematics subject that we have covered till now okay this is your last session okay so if you are following my classes regularly so for them i would be saying that you might be having an enjoyable moment because if you have followed my all the classes very clearly till now you might have understand understood uh, most of the concepts very clearly okay yeah so now this is our last session okay so in this last session we are going to clear with the one last topic related to the regression that is we need to in order to find the angle between two regression lines okay yeah for that we have one direct formula if theta is the angle between two reg regression lines then we show the angle between two regression lines as tan theta is equal to 1 minus r square by r into this is sigma okay sigma x sigma suffix x sigma into sigma suffix y equal to sigma suffix x square plus sigma suffix y square okay so this is your formula to find the angle between two regression lines so this won't be asked for the exam okay so i have also written the proof here but that's not necessary for you all now so that's not required so this is the formula you can uh, make a note of it although this won't be asked but uh, still for your safety purpose make a note of it okay so along with that this uh, related to this formula there is one question okay that i would solve it now that one question is very easy and that is a very important question which has repeated in most of the exams the most of the old exams like from last 2 3 years it has been repeated it's a very important question that i'm going to solve it to you all now okay yeah so i'll get you that question now okay so this is that question that is repeated most of the times and it's a very important question okay yeah so this is the question if the coefficient of correlation between x and y is 0.5 that is if that coefficient of correlation represents as r right here the in the question the value of r is given as 0.5 and the angle between the lines of regression is given as theta equal to tan inverse of 3 by 5 so here they have directly given the value of theta here we need to show that sigma suffix x is equal to half of sigma suffix y so here we need to prove this condition okay in this question so it's a direct question so now apply the formula here in the formula here it is given as and also your theta is given as tan inverse of 3 by 5 right yeah so here the we know that the formula to find angles of regression is given as tan theta equal to 1 minus r square by r into sigma x sigma y divided by sigma x square plus sigma y square right yeah so now substitute the values for theta and r here given right so first do that tan of tan inverse of 3 by 5 is equal to 1 minus 0.5 square divided by 0.5 into this term keep it as it is plus summation y whole square okay so now we can see that this tan and tan inverse gets cancelled right so this is tan tan inverse because this tan inverse if you bring down it would be tan by tan tan by tan is again you can cancel it so only the term left here is 3 by 5 equal to when we solve this 1 minus 0.5 whole square divided by 0.5 we get our solution as 1.5 into summation x sorry sigma x sigma y divided by sigma x square plus sigma of y square okay so now we can further simplify and write this as 3 by 5 equal to this 1.5 we can even write it as 3 3 by 2 right it's one and the same right yeah summation x summation sorry sigma x sigma y sigma x square plus sigma 
y square. So here we can cancel this 3 and 3. So the left out terms here are 1 by 5 equal to 1 by 2 into sigma x sigma y divided by sigma x square plus sigma y square. So now not much, nothing much to do. Again take cross multiply here. So if we cross multiply this would be 2 into sigma x square plus sigma y square is equal to 5 sigma x sigma y right if we cross multiply so now we need to solve this multiply this 2 2 sigma x square plus 2 sigma y square is equal to 5 sigma x sigma y so bring this 5 sigma x sigma y here along with this term that is 2 sigma x square this would be minus I will write this term first 5 sigma x sigma y plus 2 sigma y square is equal to 0 right so here this is if you observe this term very carefully so if you, we can use a method which we have discussed in our lower classes that is PSP rule ok so what does this PSP rule says so for now we you know this PSP rule says that whenever we have these two terms of the same degree along with the term which are uh, 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 other degree so here whenever wherever there is same degree terms its coefficients we need to multiply that is p p so this is this corresponds to product sum product rule okay so whatever is the answer that we need to multiply here we got two two are that is four write it here so we need to write this term such a way that the answer of uh, this term we got 4 right so when we multiply any two numbers we should get the term 4 also when we make the sum of those two numbers we need to get the answer here as the coefficient of this term that is minus 5 in such a way we need to apply the PSP rule ok see I will tell you again these two coefficients we need to multiply first that is 2 2 are 4 write it here and this 4 we need to get this answer 4 such a way that if we multiply any two numbers we should get as 4 also in same by the same two numbers if we add them we need to get the answer as minus 5 since minus 5 is the coefficient of this term okay so here the two numbers if we uh, do it are we get minus 1 and minus 4 we know that minus 1 into minus 4 is equal to plus 4 also minus 1 minus 4 is equal to minus 5 right so here now what to do is write the first term as it is so here now this term we need to split and write it as minus sigma x sigma y let 4 first minus sigma x sigma 4 sigma x sigma y minus sigma x sigma y split it plus 2 summation y square write it as it is equal to 0 so now we need to factorize it so here in these two terms we can observe that 2 summation x is common take that outside so here summation x remains here minus 2 summation y remains here since 2 summation x so 2 sigma x into minus 2 sigma y would give you 4 sigma x sigma y right minus sigma y into sigma x minus 2 sigma y equal to 0 right so this would be 2 sigma x minus sigma y this is one term along with sigma x minus 2 sigma y this is another term so now for this we need to equate it separately that is 2 sigma x minus sigma y equal to 0 or sigma x minus 2 sigma y equal to 0 so this would be 2 sigma x equal to sigma y or sigma x equal to 2 sigma y so here if we bring this 2 to another side it would be sigma x equal to sigma y by 2 or uh, sigma y is equal to sigma x by 2 right we record these two conditions but our goal is to find this right not this we needed to prove that sigma x is equal to 1 by 2 sigma y see we have proved it sigma x equal to sigma y by 2 
so here we get two answers but whichever is the correct one put this as tick and this is the wrong answer so by doing this tsp rule we have got this answer that is sigma x equal to sigma y by 2 hence proved okay so this completes your BMAT EC301 max for EC engineers syllabus all five modules okay so yeah i have completed all my five modules in a very short span of time that is i guess in around one and a half months so yeah i have done my job to spread the knowledge of whatever i have gathered in these many months in my classes and i have put it in the form of videos and i hope you all have understood whatever i have thought and uh, i am very very sorry if i had not uh, reached up to the mark of the expectations that you had from me because this is a very very new kind of genre for me but still i have tried my best and i have covered all the modules very very clearly okay so this is my uh, explanation about all these five modules and uh, please share your opinion in the comments the comments are coming in a very less amount so i need uh, uh, all the viewers who are watching my videos please put one comment down anything anything you wish please put if it's a single word also it's no problem please use those 5 to 6 seconds for me to comment it so that i uh, hear about the, the opinion of the students that the how are these classes okay yeah so that's all for this session i have completed my job the rest of the job is for you guys to practice all the sums that i have taught in my lectures and please practice it without seeing okay so that's all for this session and this subject so also we are going to provide you some of the important questions of all other subjects of this third sem of this electronics and communication part okay we are going to provide it in a very less span of time i'm not going to cover the syllabus okay since there is no time i am going to provide i'm going to provide you all the important questions important stuff of the rest of the modules which are yet to be covered okay rest of the subjects okay yeah so that's all hope you liked all my videos please like share subscribe and please 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 make a use of these classes okay thank you one and all bye bye